Hi, hi, welcome back to my channel, guys. It's a girl, help us be blue. If you're watching my videos for the first time, do not forget to hit that subscription button and the notification bell and join your gang, guys. Like, seriously, I'm trying, I'm struggling to do all this content, but I'm your girl. Just join the club, join the family, and like be one of us. And for my old subscribers, my returning subscribers, my regulars, guys, I love you. I love you to base and thank you for returning. You're always returning. Like, I love you guys. Like, you have no idea the kind of love I have for you. So, with all that being said and done, guys, if you want to know how I achieve this look and you want to see my outfit, continue get some drink and continue to watch um the full video i have a surprise visitor i have actually she was like hijacking my video but yeah she came we did it we did that i'm sorry guys with the background i'm basting my goddaughter but anyway anyhow anywho get with the video see like we had a chit chat a very interesting chit chat why am i still single as you know the topic of the video is saying that why am i still single we answer some questions together she answered them with me but the question was all about me but we answered them together but yeah we did it come and say hi you're disturbing my video say hi say hi say hello on with today's video i'm not alone today i have an intruder which is i like so very much yeah so i didn't mean it like that <laughs> so guys we're gonna do the get ready with my video and i like a bunch of chit chat uh we're supposed to do a video today so i was like why not get makeup together like and have a chit chat like warm up it's according i mean warm up for the video that we're gonna make and by the way guys today if you hear any noise little baby noise my goddaughter is around i've been babysitting for like almost a week now so it's her behind talking right and what else yeah get ready with me and let's have a chit chat chit chat chit chat chit chat chit chat chit chat she doesn't even know what we're gonna be talking about she knows nothing she doesn't know that we're gonna do videos but she doesn't know nothing and disclaimer i'm not a makeup artist i still don't know anything about makeup i am still i'm not gonna say learning because like i don't give an effort i don't put an effort into like learning i just do whatever that goes with me i just i just do and i sometimes i forget how to, to i mean i forget to do control sometimes i forget something i'm always forgetting something so i don't have patience i always say that to you guys right so yeah now we're gonna be talking I don't know if she's gonna join in my topic. Yeah, sure. And guys, I wanted to talk about me being single. Like single, I mean, like never been married uh, at my age. Apparently, this thing is like a topic. Oh, I'm having um, what am what are we having? Mimosa. Mimosa. She she's to that. Mm. Talk about girls that's gonna come in your house with some drinks and makes it for you. <laughs> yeah so guys my mirror is on this side i feel like it's a bit far but there's nothing i can do i don't know how to use a small mirror that's my weakness i really don't know how to use a small mirror so but then anyways my makeup i'm not teaching how to do makeup so it's not really the problem you know i'm not teaching you guys anything i'm just doing whatever i think i know topic today why am i still single why am I so single? Why haven't I been married? And why not? And then, you know, sometimes I feel like okay. it's not. I want to ask. Okay. Why are you still single? Why am I so single? Yes. Why haven't you been married? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. On my other Get Ready With Me video, I, I mentioned something about I cannot marry myself. But then I came to a point, you know, sometimes you cannot just blame people all the time probably it's me probably i'm the problem probably like honestly i've made people that wanted to get married to me but then because i'm the problem it never happens really yeah because like i've been engaged like 
been engaged like forever guys like i don't think this in almost every relationship i'm in i'm engaged but i'm never get i never get to the point of getting married so i guess probably it should be me but then how do i say how do i know that it should be me i decided i asked you um my uh, you guys on on facebook i didn't really post it so much on instagram i posted it a lot on facebook right I ask you guys to like ask me any question you want to know like why I'm so single what kind of question maybe you think it might be the reason so I got some few of those questions I didn't get a lot of them I got some few of them others were just like way too much I couldn't answer that but I got some few so this is question number one why do you always change boyfriends that's what I got and I think guys were asking me that because guys every time were asking you not yeah actually this was a guy who asked me this question why do you always change a boyfriend because like on e on on i usually post wherever i'm dating at that period of time oh, okay. usually yes you do i yeah yes. i usually post wherever i'm dating and then when when it's all when it's done i go on like baby can i have that baby destiny can I have that? thank you thank, thank you baby uh this is finished so that was the question why do i always change boyfriends and and guys from today on you're not ever gonna see anybody i'm dating online i'm Ooh. never gonna post i'm never gonna post why why because i don't want that question again okay why are you always changing okay 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 so why were you posting them before what were you expecting posting your relationships okay online? under okay under normal circumstances to tell you the truth it was not like i i choose to mm -hmm. This is gonna sound stupid, but I was bullied too. Bullied too? Yeah, like every guy that I I, I, I dated, they bullied me to post them. Oh really? Yeah, because like I I, I love social media a lot. Okay. And they feel like everybody should know that they I'm, I'm dating them because like when they see my social media, because I'm that girl who doesn't hide. I don't have password. Oh, I do have password to my phone, but whoever I'm dating, I have the passwords to my phone. I don't know if I should do the lights of this thing because I yes. feel like I cannot see myself. Yes, I think you should. Do. Um, let me see. Okay, it's yeah, worse. I think it's worse. Mm. I think it's better. Oh no! This one is but without the light is yes. is better. Yes. The other one is like too much worse. Okay, I forgot to put my phone on the flight mode. All right, so. What was I saying? That I was always bullied to, to post. That. Yeah, cause like the person I'll be dating, they will see when I'm when I'm posting a picture, and like guys will be commenting, "Oh, you look beautiful," and whatnot. It's like they wanna make a point that those people that are seeing the post should know that I'm taking. I have somebody I have to post, and they usually start posting themselves. Like they will post uh, a picture of me or a picture of me and them together, and then now they expect me to do the same. But it's crazy, you know why? So, why? It's crazy because I feel like those who bully you to do that are really insecure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I feel like real men know the damages social media can cause to your relationship. Yeah, true. Do you understand? True. So, a real man wouldn't even want his business out there, out there, out there. You get what I mean? So I don't know. I just feel like yeah, it's I like that. I like that. So yeah, that that was the reason why I was like posting guys, and they will always like try to post. And I never really like wanted to post because um, I said it on my other video. Um, I think it was like C post post video with Ruth, and I was thinking like I don't know when was the last time I was like yeah. single for a while. Um, I'm always in a relationship, so like usually when I like jump from one relationship to the other. Um okay, that's the reason I'm gonna say why do you always change boyfriend yeah. guys I, I I don't know one thing for sure is that if a relationship is not working out, I move, and if I meet somebody, I'm not gonna stop mingling because some other nigga broke my heart or whatever no, I just go with whatever my heart gives me and and um I don't wait like wait for a month, wait for a year, wait for six months. When no. you break up when I break up, I don't tell myself okay. that I'm gonna be in a oh, relationship no. immediately. You are right. You move on so quick. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, baby. Jeez. Well, this I don't is the really fastest, <laughs> fastest move 
what should I call you, baby? I don't know what I should call we you. We move. Like, I swear. If you ever heard, we move. This is we move. Yeah. But I don't really tell myself like I don't I don't tell myself okay we broke up I'm gonna move immediately no like sometimes in most cases when I break up with somebody I'll be like I don't want I don't want to be in a relationship anymore I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play around like I've told myself that like I'm just gonna play around no relationship baby <laughs> so I don't tell myself that I'm gonna move immediately. No, I don't. But damn, we move. But if if I'm I'm single, and that's another thing. When do you know that I have oh, two relationships that I was like, okay, I'm out of a relationship. You no, know, this is too soon. Too soon. I still have feelings for the other guy and whatnot. Okay. And then I meet this guy, and and things happens like we talk or whatever happens. And I do mention I don't want to be in a relationship. And with time. I just find myself like, you know what, this, this, I'm dating this guy. It's not like a mutual thing that we're going to agree. Okay, let's sit down. We're dating now. From today on, you're my boyfriend, you're my girlfriend. No, I just find myself in a relationship with him. Really? Yeah, like. So you just fall into a relationship? Yeah. I just. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my God. I just fall into a relationship, you know, like. Imagine. Imagine having a guy that's going to like check up on you all the time do whatever boyfriends does and then like start being jealous when they start being jealous that's when i realize that, that you guys are in a relationship like this is a relationship because like even when i want to try i'm like why are you being jealous like and then i try to think of everything that the guy has been doing okay it's a relationship so i'm like okay so okay since we're in a relationship since we're in a relationship let's just move on so guys that's the reason why i move i, I always have like different boyfriends because I don't know how to like I do give guys this a chance like if you're gonna hurt me I do give you some like why are my eyebrows not doing great I'm talking I can't do this guys like talk and do makeup I thought I was gonna try again this time around but oh god this is not working out for me my makeup baby should I take the phone should I take the phone? Mm. So yeah, question number two, guys. I hope I was clear with that. Why I'm always change boyfriend? Um, somebody was like ask me, do you do I even believe in love? Yes, I do, guys. I do. I believe in love. I believe in a man. Like, I can ditch friends for for a man. Like that's how much I believe in love and how much I believe in it. Like I can ditch. I don't even know what kind of look I'm looking I'm going for today. Like I can I'm that good. Like I can ditch you guys for, for like, a man. You're turning to me to tell me. Yeah, I'm like you're hey, my friend. Hey, hey. Like I'm just saying, like, yeah, that's how much I believe in love. I believe in a guy. I do believe in a guy a lot. So like hundred percent believe in, in love. No matter how much I, I get hurt, no matter how much I move. I still hope the next move is gonna be the one that yeah, like the yeah, best one. the best one, yes. But just because of that, I'm not a sucker for love. Like I'm not gonna go through what I'm not supposed to just because of love. Like I do believe in love, but I believe in money more than love. So what doesn't give me money, dude? Like and I I I, I ditch it so fast. Okay, the next question, guys. The next question is, do you always date guys with money? Do you want to answer that for me? What do you think? How can I answer that for you? How do you think? What, what, like, what do you think? Um, every woman wants to date a guy who can take care of her. True. Yes. Yeah, so That's me. But do I date guys with money? I, I hope I can only date guys with money, but as I said, sometimes... You wish or you hope? Both. Both. Yeah. Every woman wants to date a guy with money. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. Every I want a guy with money. money. I want a guy with money. So even if I find that you don't have money, um, at least be working towards onto like be exactly. uh, be somebody that works, be somebody that is doing something 
to get that money not just somebody just sitting down but necessarily am i only looking for a rich guy no if you are not rich uh will i date you definitely yes definitely date you actually i don't even like rich guys guys like 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 this guy with a whole lot of money really no i don't i don't i don't i, don't, I want I want, I want that respect, you know? So I want the guy who, like, if I can get a guy who, like, walk towards getting that money with me, yeah, I will be good. So guys, it's not about if you have money. Obviously, when when you're still, still trying to get my attention, you you need money to spend on my eyes. I mean, sorry, you need money to spend. Like you have to take me out, mm -hmm. the, the nice cute little gift and all of that to get my attention. Mm -hmm. Definitely, but does it necessarily mean that you need to be rich? No, it doesn't. Not for me. I'm not that. I'm not they. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that sucker. Oh, yeah, guys, that's it. And for the but ha for have, the have you ever dated a broke guy like broke, broke, like broke, broke, broke? I haven't. Have I? I haven't. Broke? No, I, I don't think I have. Like broke, broke, broke. Like you, you have, you have to, to be the one like yeah. giving the guy money all the time no. for simple little things. No. Okay, wait. Can I ask you a question? What? Have you have you have you um, bought a guy? Uh, what do you call this? Petrol, gas. No, I've never had a guy who needed me to buy him petrol. I have. Gas. I have. But it's not like he needed me to. Yeah, yeah. It's not like he needed me to. But I've, 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 I have. So it doesn't count because it's just something you wanted to do. It's oh, not like yeah, he right. asked you to do it. Uh, he just wanted to do it. True. Okay, next question. Uh, can you date a Korean? I think that was a Korean guy who asked me this. Because like, who asked me? Like, And the, the, the thing, well, this was on, on Instagram. The person's um, profile was had no picture. So, yeah. Have I... Can I date a Korean guy? I don't know. <laughs> Can you? I don't know. I don't know. For some reason, for some reason, I have this mutual understanding and mutual attraction with your people. Nigerians? I'm telling you, I don't know why. <laughs> Do I only date Nigerians? No, but if i'm dating somebody who's not a nigerian would i leave that person for a nigerian guy who wants me definitely not but have i thought of dating a korean yeah i've got koreans that were like interested in me not the old guys like those cute little guys with okay. who dresses nice from the train station kind of thing yeah. yeah but i was like so happy that he's talking to me but we, we exchanged numbers but it didn't go any further i, I just couldn't I, I i don't i didn't really feel the vibe so that is to say you cannot date korean guys is that what you're saying yeah literally but it's not because they're koreans because we don't vibe okay yeah it's not because they're koreans like if i can get a korean that is like can vibe with me yeah i'll definitely i don't i don't think i'll have a problem at all with that so that question guys i don't really look color i don't really look um country i don't it's all about are we vibing and i haven't vibed with a korean so i don't know how to answer that one i haven't really honestly vibed with a korean destiny stop what you're doing baby so yeah guys that that that's that's that do you have uh, a scissors or like a cutter around you? No. Eight. It's in the kitchen. This is what we call wahala. Be like bicycle. I saw a razor somewhere. Was yeah, it today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I have a razor. Yeah. I saw it somewhere. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next question, guys. Um, what can a guy do to impress you? I don't know if the guy who who, who wrote this one, right? Okay. 
Can you guide I know who you are. Eh hey, hey. <laughs> And my answer so is not going to help. answering him like directly. Yes. Telling him what he needs to do to impress you. No, I'm going to say what a guy needs to do to impress me, but when he does it, it's not going to work. Because hey. like I told you, imagine it's like me impressing myself right now. No. Oh my god. So I know who you are and it's not going to work if you do this. You're going to have to yeah. think out of the box. Okay, what do you need to impress me? I just want a guy who's going to listen. I just want a guy who's going to be there. I just want, most importantly, I want a guy who who knows, who get, who want to get to know me as a person, not what you hear, me as a person, and don't try to change me. I hate it when people try to to change me or try to tell me what they think is the best vision of me more than myself. Like, I know myself, and I'm happy with myself. And I just need somebody to compliment me, not somebody to... I, I hate when guys come to you and think like, because they're there... You should live a certain kind of life. You should live a certain kind of life because that's the best life. Do you understand? Baby? Baby? Thank you. Thank you. Oh. So... That is what I need, and obviously I'm gonna need the girls gonna like take me out. The last guy who impressed me impressed me by giving me his bank account. His bank card. Hey, Jesus Christ. Hey. When I say I found myself in a relationship, when I say I found myself in a relationship, yeah, the the, the bank card is the one that did the trick this time around. Oh really? Yeah. But when I really think about it, right, I feel like the nigga was like playing me, dude. Like, cause what, that's, why that's, would that's he give what, me? That's what I just wanted to tell you. Why would he give me? Why would he give me a bank like, account that you have access to every information of what I do on the card? So whatever I do with the card, you know. I want a person oh, that that. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. You're looking for a guy that will give you access to an account that. He doesn't even have to check up on. He doesn't even have to know what you do. You can check up on maybe once in a week or whatever. But let me have that freedom of the fact that you know, like whenever I have to spend the money, I know that the moment it swipe is gonna say I swipe this way at what time. Like you're keeping track on me. Like, hey, baby. I'm not. I'm not enjoying that money. I want to enjoy that money freely. You're looking for a sugar daddy. Sugar what, daddy? Do they still exist? I want one. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm too old for that. I should be a cougar myself. I, I don't know. If I have to find a sugar daddy, how old would that man be? Baby, I think you're looking for a sugar daddy because I don't know any guy out there that will give you a card that he cannot accept. No, but I just hate the fact that everything I do here. So if there's a guy out there who is even giving you a card and he's like, you can do what you want, but he still wants to. Yeah, but then I did have the freedom, guys. Okay. Like, I had the freedom of doing whatever I want to do. Like, I could. There was no, you can only, Destiny, give me this. Don't touch it again. Eh? I'll give you time out now. You want to go and sleep? Go inside and sleep. No. Why no? Go inside and sleep. No. She doesn't want to sleep. Inside, I don't know. And the knee is wrong. I don't even know. I'm even on, on camera and saying all those things. <laughs> This video is gonna be long, guys. She doesn't want Let me do this quickly. Um, the next question. Okay, do you have sex on your first date? I love this question. Answer it before I say what I want to say about it. Do I have sex on? The, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it in a TV, guys. It's not like I have sex on the first day, but I prefer sex on the first day. Cause I don't want to waste my time with a guy. But, Cause I think maybe it, it it happens like with when you grow, you you tend to know things, you tend to to understand things in a different way. Mm -hmm. Like guys, I don't want to waste my time with a guy for like six months and only to find out that, that down day nothing happens. No, at that time emotions are involved. You end up being in a relationship and end up cheating, which is not an ideal. So. Sex on first date for me means nothing. And besides, guys, 
if a guy wants to just have sex with you, he can wait for six months. Exactly. The day he gets you, whether it's six months, whether it's one year, whether it's two years, the day he gets you, he will disappear. It happens. So whether it's first date or second date or sixth date, if guys for you, guys for you. So I'm not, I'm not gonna even say that I'll, I'll be doing it or not doing it for the sake of the guy. I do it for the sake of myself because exactly, baby. Yeah, because honestly, as I said, I do not want to waste my time because, like, sex is a vital thing in a relationship for me, right? And I need, I need to be satisfied, guys. I need to be definitely definitely satisfied and if i'm not satisfied then there's a problem so how do i know i'm gonna be satisfied before i waste my time with a guy for for how long you're still doing uh waiting for for, for five days three days or six months is it, is it how many three months rule or whatever thing is? i don't do the you know why i said i'm interested in this topic why because a guy Met me a guy came up to me last week and then he had a question. Do you know what he asked me? What? Is it okay for a guy to date a lady he had a, a, a what? No, he had sex on the first date with. Eh? When he went to that lady, what did he want? And at the end of the day, I found the question really, really offensive because I'm like. You had this first day sex with her. Do you understand? So why are you judging her for something you both did? True. It doesn't make any sense to me. That's and I'm happy that a lot of women are like waking up and realizing, um, I gotta do me for me. You understand what I mean? Like, yeah. How would you judge me for something that we both did? Okay. Why didn't you tell me uh, if I have if I have uh, sex on the first day with you, I wouldn't want to date you. Why can't you be that honest? And let, let and then let's know what we are doing. No, why is the guy confused? My my biggest question right now is when he went to the girl, what did he want? Was it sex or dating? Because I don't think if you went to a girl because you really actually genuinely wanted to date the girl, for the fact that she had sex with you on the first date. It will because like, you should be happy that you want to date this girl and then at least you you went that far with her like so soon you didn't have to like strive that long you understand what I'm saying? Okay, baby. Oh, what's that? Destiny. Okay, baby. Do you? No. Okay, baby. They need to see what she just did to herself. Like my baby's doing makeup to herself. <laughs> She's even looking at herself in the mirror. Well, sure she did right. I hope I will get a picture of her. If I get a picture of her later, I'll I'll I'll, I'll show you guys. Cause I'm trying to like build this fast so that I can finish. So the scene is here. For me, do you know what I have to say about having sex on the first day? What? It's for big girls. If you cannot do it as a woman, don't do it. What do you mean it's for big girls? It's for big girls because some of these ladies out there, Outside. they have they go out and then they have sex on the first day with a guy, and then the next minute they are all over the guy, making the guy feel so special. Yes, this is the reason why these guys are now uh, saying, "Do I want to date her? Do I want?" Do you understand? Like, have sex on your first date, babe. Lock up. Mm. Still on your own. Let him come for you if he wants you. If he needs you. That, that's me. Like we had sex you on know? that first date. Whether you come back, if you come back, it's okay. If you don't come back, it's great. And when you come back, it's all about did I get what I was looking for? If I didn't get what I was looking for, bro, I'm dumping you. Yes, that's, I'm done. Like, you like I'm done. It's for big girls. It's not for little children. Cause I'm not gonna waste my six months, one year dating a nigga, waiting, waiting, waiting. And then when it comes to that part, when uh, and you know for six months, you know when you when you are with someone, the attraction that is there, you get, uh, what do you call sexually aroused and all of that. And when that moment comes after six months, there's no, no, I can't. Look at me out there having one night stands and making these men feel way too special. Why? Because you're the one calling him. You're the one going after him. Um, let's have it at the back of our minds that these niggas. They view this whole uh, sex on the first day 
in a certain kind of way. Do you understand? Different Let's have it at the back of our mind. So if you know you want to do it, be a big girl about it. And have him crawling back to you. That is what I'm trying to say. Do it right. Don't do it and then have niggas meeting meeting other girls and saying, Did you think I should date her? I have sex with her on the first night. You get what you get my point? Do that first day thing and make him come crawling. If you can do it, do it. If you cannot do it, leave it alone. Please. Baby, baby, stop what you're doing. Please. So yeah, guys, for me, sex on the first date is the it for me. Like I go for it. Like I actually, as I said, I prefer that because I want to know what I'm getting myself in for. Because I feel like for me to even go to that far of the first date, it means that you 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 check on the outside physique, like how you look, what you do. You check. Do you know what I even on think right now? Eh? What? I don't think women should start being vocal about stuff like this. It's like it's a the guy thing. know that um, I don't want to waste my time with you. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to have sex with you right now to know if you are what I want. Yes. Let them be the one putting in that effort. Yes. Stop doing it like, oh, he deceives me to it. Oh, I found him so sexy, so attractive. Be a woman about it. Tell them what you want. Um, your performance will be better, I promise you. Yeah. That's so true, eh? The performance yeah. will even be better. The performance will be better. Let them know why you want to have sex with them on the first day. I'm giving you guys, like, expos right now. If you want to do first date sex, do it right. Don't do it, don't do it in a way that the man will start feeling like, oh, he just laid you. No! Which one just Talk, laid vocal. you? Tell him why... I'm bigger and better than that. Yeah, if you're gonna be doing this, let him understand. No, like, dude, I'm this kind of woman that I don't want to waste my time yes. dating yes. and then not getting the satisfaction I need when and it comes yes. to, you know, the other room. Cause, cause it's important. It's vital. You understand? So let the man know. Okay, I am the kind of woman that will have sex with you on the first date, but it's only because I want to know. If you are going to be the man for me, yes. I'm gonna tell them this thing, put them on their toes, let them perform even better. No, I don't have to sit in So, <laughs> so I can't no. stand up. So, even if the guy wants to, even if the guy wants to walk after the first day, you know you have your integrity intact because mm -hmm. you told him your True. mind. True, it's not like he deceived you into it. Cause they see, they see, they see us as light brains when we have sex on the first day. It's time to change things now. It's time to turn the game around. And you know what? Funny part, funny part. Because I feel this way, and I'm a woman. I believe a lot of men feel the same way too. But then we don't want to voice it out because we don't want to be judged exactly. as as weak. We don't want to be judged as loose. The, like it's about me, it's about my feelings, about oh, my. But I'm you are already being judged when you keep your mouth shut. Yes. So it's better you tell them. Look, before you have a first uh, date sex with any man out there again, be vocal, be a big girl about it. Say, I want to do this because I want to know if you can satisfy me sexually. Yes. Tell them this is the reason why you're having this. I second date. that 100%. Best. Yes. Stop keeping short. Stop closing your mouth. Because when you close your mouth, it feels like you're a loose girl. It feels like you're a whore. And then they go about asking other guys, oh, should I date her? I have sex on the first day with her. They feel like you have dates on the first date with every man you meet out there. So if they're going to feel like this, I feel you should give them a genuine reason why they should feel like that. You get my point? Maybe. <laughs> you get my point? Look at, look at, look at, look at the camera. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> you know, so be vocal, talk. You're a big girl, you know? That's why I said it's not for small girls. If you know you're scared to like say, look, I want to know if you can satisfy me sexually throughout the period, you know, of our day. <laughs> if you are scared to say this to a man, don't do first date sex with any man. You're spoiling things exactly. for other women out there. Exactly, that's true. That is so true. Stop spoiling things for me, guys. I'm telling you, baby. Me, I want it legit. I want it straight. I want to. I'm getting mad right now. Because of her? Yeah. 
Yes, baby. When I get medicine, will not even help you if you don't know. <laughs> Mommy's getting mad. Okay, guys, I need to finish this. The video is like too long. Okay, next question. Do I still have a question? I have two more questions, guys. Um, oh, I'm sure you're gonna love this one. How important it is. <laughs> how important it is to be asked to be a girlfriend. I'm gonna be a hypocrite answering on this one. Like, as I said, I just find myself in a relationship. Mm -hmm. But I do get asked in the beginning. I do get asked, like guys, I love this, this eyelashes, guys, like, they are, shout um, out. like, a shout Lucy, out shout out to Honey Hair, I get this Honey Hair all the time, like, yeah. when I get there, I'm just like, I want Lucy, Lucy is my girl, let me see like, Lucy. I, let me see Lucy, maybe I should try Lucy, I'm, I'm telling you, I have, like, I even got a case for Lucy, oh, really? so that, yes, that's a lot, I should get a name outside here, so like, yeah, Lucy, Ebi and Lucy, like that's that's my goal. So I don't know. You continue with your question. I'm gonna go get my wig and get some more nails. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're, we're gonna do nice. like the the after thingy. Um. Okay, guys. You want something? If you want something, tell me. Let me bring it for you now. Uh, I think I think I still have a drink. Okay. So I'm gonna go get my wig, guys. Okay, is it important for a guy to ask you to be a girlfriend? Yeah, I don't want to assume, guys. I really don't want to assume. I don't want to assume that you want me for for something that I'm like. You understand? Like you just don't just go there and because a guy took you out on a date or you had sex, you just assume that he's your boyfriend. No, having sex with somebody doesn't mean that you guys are dating. It just means that you just had sex. So it's very much important for a guy to actually open his mouth and tell you that he would love you to be his girlfriend. Simple as that. Simple as that. Like it's very much important. Get a guy to tell you that. It's just like doing wife duties when you're not been promised marriage. Exactly. And then when he doesn't do it, you get mad. You have no right to be mad for that, sis. No right to be mad at all. Okay. All right, like the last question. Guys, I'm gonna do this last question and then I'm gonna close up and then I'll cut this comeback and show you the final look and the outfit. I haven't changed yet. I'm still on my like um, my robe, my sexy robe. So yeah, guys, uh, let me finish the last bit. Uh, the last question. Do you only date Nigerians? That's what they said. I just mentioned this thing earlier and then I got a question. Do you only date Nigerians? Guys, I don't only date Nigerians, but for some reason, I am more connected to them than any other race, any other race yes. For some reason. I remember, you're not the only ones that are like curious about that hair. My elder sister once asked me, like, Tiri, are you the one following Nigerians or Nigerians are following you? <laughs> I was like, I don't know, but either way, we end up finding each other. We just, I don't only date Nigerian guys. Nigerian guys only, guys. I i have done white. I've done Ethiopian. Um, I haven't done Korean, as I said. Um, uh, yeah, so it's not only... Oh, God. It's not only um, Nigerians that I date. It's, it's not only them and guess what you know that I, I date Nigerians, but for some reason I cannot eat really like like Nigerian delicacy except for fried rice Are you serious? I'm the only girl that that is into Nigerians that does not eat a goosey and <laughs> For saying this, I think you should leave our man alone <laughs> Serious, why? Why? Leave us alone. Why? How can you tell us and you're not eating a goosey? You're not eating um afan soup. You're not. Which one is afan soup? You don't even know, baby. You're not qualified to date Nigerian men. From today, I revoke your license. No more. <laughs> but 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 I I I'm complaining. I'm not complaining. Apparently. I'm not even playing. By now, you should know how to cook a good sea, vegetable, you know, all those things. I have tried cooking okra. 
but but my own okra outcome didn't come as the ones that i see or actually let me say this my own okra didn't i was ch checking it on youtube my okra didn't come as the, the one i was <laughs> i was copying from a youtube so yeah i don't know Nico, you're not qualified to this one, guys i'm gonna put this eyelash and then i'm gonna be right back with the whole full look and the outfit guys you know just wait on wait on we don't so yeah guys after all all those questions that i answered maybe the way i answered maybe just maybe just maybe is the reason why i'm still single until today because it's how i see things how i see relationships so i guess that's the reason wow. Ching -ching. Mm. all right guys that is the look i decided to go all black uh okay to be honest it's not really my choice because of my hairstyle guys i've got a blue hairstyle i don't know what to wear with this color on my head i just somehow i just wanted it to make so black you can never go wrong with black comfortable nice is the shoe game for me <laughs>